when we answer the grand calling of our time, we tune into the highest reality we know. We tune into a vibrational reference point for us. That vibration that we have touched and known, it's present in our life experience, however we've experienced it, perhaps brought to us through another person, through life experience, through our own meditations, through our own prayer, but there is that high vibration, that high tone of what is true and wonderful and what is precious to us of life and of love, of reality. And so to answer the grand calling of our time, we tune into that highest of vibrational frequencies the highest truth that we know, that is not something that is ultimately separate from us, but is who we are. It is the highest reality of us as a human being individually, each of us, and of all of us together. That's important. If our only response to the events of our world is to act in kind or to somehow take in, in, incremental steps to try to make things better, to ameliorate pain and suffering. If we do that without tuning in to the highest of who and what we are, don't you think we could be chasing the demons of the world forever, the problems. No, our answer is to appeal to our highest knowing, the highest knowing of what we share together. This high, highest of vibrational reference points is present within the whole body of humankind. I'm not saying that we all walk around conscious of it, but it's present even though it's ignored so often. It's present in the mass consciousness, this awareness of who we are as the human race and what our promise and potential is. So we are tuning into that and bringing it 